Have you been drinking the same coffee for so long that you can't even taste it anymore? Are you tired of spending $15 on a bag of coffee that you don't even like? Then this coffee show is for you. Welcome to the Bracketology of Coffee, Season 2, Round 6. This is the semifinals. The theme of this season is inexpensive coffee. Every bag was purchased at Walmart, and the average price per bag is only $5.05. As you can see, I'm coming to you from my camper today, uh, full-time camping for the next six months. I'm at Mountaindale RV Resort in Colorado Springs, the south side of Colorado Springs, and it is cold. I've had two good nights of sleep and two bad nights of sleep, <laughs> so it's 50-50, but today we're going to have some fun, drink some coffee, and the next round will be the finals. So let me introduce the competitors today. First off, we have Caribou Coffee Daybreak. The origin is the Americas and East Africa. 12 ounces goes for $7.28. It's a light roast, and they ranked number two in my brackets. Going up against Folgers, 100% Colombian. They made it to the semifinals, believe it or not. Origin is obviously Colombia. This 10.3 ounce can goes for $3.72. It's a medium roast, and they ranked number six in my brackets. Let me explain how this works really quick. My coffees are prepared in French press. The recipe I use is one tablespoon of coffee grounds for every five ounces of water. I steep it for four minutes and I typically let it cool off for just a couple minutes after that. The competition consists of two halves. First half, I drink the coffees black, fresh out of the French press. And in the second half, I add some cream. Each round, they'll get up to a possible 100 points. So each coffee, the maximum points they could score in the game would be 200. Let me get these coffees steeping and I will be right back. Thanks for watching. All right, I'm going to give the coffee maybe a minute or two to cool down. Um, as I mentioned, I'm camping. Um, had a couple bad nights of sleep. Ran out of propane on the third night and it was 10 degrees outside. So I froze. Got up at four in the morning. The propane ran out at three. I, I got into town about four uh, to get some more propane. Never went back to sleep. So that was a long day for me. But um, I got a good night's sleep last night and we're drinking coffee today. So we are ready to go. I wanted to mention two quick things. Uh, I don't claim to be a super taster. 25% of the population is considered to be a super taster. I consider myself a normal taster. I just enjoy drinking coffee, love discovering new coffees, and I love competing head-to-head. Uh, -head. This competition makes it so fun for me. Uh, what I look for in coffee is drinkability, and what I define that as is something that's smooth and flavorful with a pleasing aftertaste. So I'm going to put some coffee tips on the screen for you. And let's go ahead and get this thing going. So I drink the coffees twice. First time I just want to get an overview, and the second time I'll give them a score. So we are going to start off with the, the sunshine is kind of bright, Caribou Coffee Daybreak. This one I believe did really, really well in the uh, first round of competition, so it'll be interesting to see how they do today. That is the definition of drinkability for me. I love that coffee so much. Smooth, flavorful, pleasing aftertaste. So good. Uh, let's go ahead and get an overview on this Folgers 100% Columbia. The 
The coffee's delicious as well. I love Colombian coffee. I also love an, a good underdog, and Folgers actually makes some decent coffee. People kind of stay away because they don't they don't have a great reputation for being high end coffee, but some of their new stuff is actually pretty good. So let's go ahead and uh, get a score on this Caribou coffee. Yeah, that one's really good. Uh, I have actually bought that one for the house quite a few times, so I'm really familiar with it. Uh, let's go ahead and out of the gate, we will give them a 90 for Caribou. And now let's go ahead and give this Folgers a score. So for me, it's very smooth, very flavorful, has an awkward aftertaste. It's not a Colombian aftertaste for me. For me, it's something different. It turns me off just a tiny bit. I do like it, uh, just not quite as, as much as I like the Caribou. So uh, we're going to give them an 85 in the first round. So I'm going to pause the video, add a little bit of half and half, and we will be back to give them uh, another score. Thanks for watching. back for the second half of this competition I've added some cream we're gonna taste them again uh, by the way I recorded a tour of my camper earlier this week on the Nash potatoes outdoor show if you're interested in taking a look at my camper it's a pop-up which is why I was so freezing the other night but uh, I'm gonna do the same thing taste them twice first time I'm just getting an overview second time I'll give them a score and we're gonna start out again with the caribou The cream has enhanced the flavor a bit. Um, the, the flavor actually it changes dramatically in my mind. Um, almost always enhances it, but uh, as you know, I really like that coffee, so they're gonna do well. Um, now for the Folgers. Flavor's been enhanced a tiny bit, and the aftertaste has, has been kind of diminished. Um, I do like that one, so we'll have to see. As you know, typically a number pops in my head as I drink it, so I never know what I'm going to score it until I take that second sip. So here we go. Let's give uh, Caribou a, a score. Yeah, that is so good. I <clears throat> exactly know why I buy that so often for the house. It's just really smooth. There's nothing not to like. So, just as I said, a number always pops into my mind. <laughs> I'm scrambling for numbers. I'm thinking I'm going to go with 94 on that. Now for the Folgers. Yeah, that one's good for that for the price on that you can't beat it uh, it's not really in the same league as the caribou the caribou is just uh, you know about two steps ahead of it but considering it's Folgers consider it's three dollars and forty seven cents um, I would say that's actually a really great coffee so 
They get an 85 in the first round. Um, I'm going to give them an 88 in the second round. Not bad for a $3.50 coffee. Let me tell you the results, and we will be back to determine a winner and see who's moving on to the finals. the scores we are ready to determine a winner first off we have caribou coffee they scored a 90 in the first half 94 in the second half for a total of 184 i highly recommend this coffee definitely one of my favorites going up against the folgers 100 colombian they scored an 85 in the first half 88 in the second half for a total of 173 you know i recommend this coffee simply because so many people have written off folgers and uh this is a really good coffee given the price like i said it's not in the same league as some of these other coffees but i definitely you got to try it once especially for for the price it's not bad at all so our winner semi-finals round six caribou coffee is moving on to the finals they will be going up against Dunkin Donuts <laughs> so we can get that in there there we go this if you've been watching this season and watching the scores both of these guys have put up really high scores and Dunkin Donuts is really shines with the half and half so this is gonna be an awesome matchup I'll probably record that uh, maybe this weekend and then the round three finals is gonna be pretty awesome I'm gonna do target four target coffees coffees from Target and four coffees from World Market and we're gonna put them head-to-head -head, see who comes out on top I'm a big fan of both of them Target puts out some good coffees World Market puts out some really good coffees so that's gonna be a ton of fun for me but uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel thanks for watching we will see you next time